Hey everyone, this is Gary at Blender Devices. Here is another video showing what you can do with the Nitrogen NM Plus. Here we're gonna focus on its machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities. Let's go. Hi, so this is the Nitrogen NM Plus running uh, Yocto OS. So here we're gonna first check that the NPU is running fine. So for that we're gonna use that video stream and we're gonna feed that detail stream to the NPU to make sure that it can detect object on it and how long it takes to do that processing. So here to do that we're gonna use the Pi EIQ framework from NXP. You can see here that it, it takes a little bit of time to load. The reason is that it loads the model inside the NPU. So here is the result. The same video stream running with the NPU uh, that does the processing and you can see that it detects cars and the inference time is about 15 milliseconds so the inference time is the time it takes for the models to be executed on a frame so here what's nice about this demo is that you can switch from NPU to CPU and here you can see that the CPU slows down a lot because it takes about 250 milliseconds to do the same uh, to run that same model so not only the NPU offloads the CPU it also is much faster to do that kind of processing. So now let's have a look at how it looks in real life and use a USB camera to do that same sort of object detection with us. So we're gonna try with different objects and see if it recognizes it. So same thing here, you can see it takes a little bit of time to load the, the demo, but the reason is that um, we Change the, we change the model, so we still have to reload the model inside the NPU. So here it is. You can see uh, myself. Uh, I'm glad to see that the NPU recognizes me as a person. And let's see if he recognizes this. This is an apple. What is this? This is my cell phone. Uh, this is a remote. There, there we go. It's easier if there is nothing around. Oh, this is a cup. And let's try even with my keyboard here. Keyboard. All right. So stay tuned for other demos. Next time we're gonna see how to train the model and try to do some facial recognitions. Bye.